Mother Nature has gifted us with so many masterpieces, from deep in the depths of the sea all the way up to the galaxy. A lot of them have been existing way before us for thousands and even millions of years. Unfortunately, because of mankind's carelessness and destructive behavior, most of them are destroyed in a blink of an eye. How's it going? We're Ignite Crunch, and you're just in time for another video. Before we get started, do us a quick favor and click on that red subscribe button. Share, like, and also hit that notification bell to get alerts whenever we deliver new content like this one. In today's topic, we made a list of 7 incredible tourist attractions that are unfortunately ruined by us humans. What are they and why were they destroyed? Well, let's find out. We humans have been communicating through art for centuries. It's a wonderful way of self-expression and storytelling. Number 7 is the Paleolithic Cave Paintings, Grotte du Lasco. In 1940, Jacques Marceau and his three other French friends were searching for their missing dog and discovered an amazing cave with a gallery of over 500 engravings and 600 paintings. The artworks showed an array of humans, animals, abstract symbols, and hunting. This masterpiece was considered to be the work of more than 1,000 generations. The physical authenticity and unique character made this cave the pride and joy for Montignac in the Dordogne region of southwest France. It attracted many tourists that carried out humidity, heat, and other contaminants that disrupted the cave's natural climate. This in an unsuccessful attempt in putting air conditioning produced an unwanted growth of pervasive fungus all over the masterpiece. After 23 years of its discovery in 1963, it was finally closed to the public. In 1983, Lasco II was opened. It is an exact replica of the major parts of the famous cave. Its main purpose is to present the paintings, composition, and scale to the public without further damaging the original. From the inside of a mysterious cave, let's go ahead over the sea. At number 6, we have the Aral Sea. Its name translates to the Sea of Islands, referring to some islands that surround their waters. In the languages of Turkic and Mongolia, Aral means island, archipelago. Once upon a time, it was the fourth largest lake in the world. Now it is considered to have had the most drastic change over the years. In the 1960s, the Soviet Union took on an irrigation project that hindered the rivers that once fed the Aral Sea. Since then, it has been deteriorating. Check out these photos that show the drastic changes from 2008 to 2018. In the year 2000, the lake was already a fraction of its actual size. The drying up of the Aral Sea also affected the fisheries and communities that relied on them. The remaining water became increasingly salty. It also became contaminated with pesticides and fertilizer. From a beautiful land of water, it is now an eerie sight with degraded soil and a few run-down rusting ships. Kazakhstan built a dam in 2005 to save the Aral Sea, but unfortunately, it will never become as beautiful and alive as it was before. Number 5 was a very popular tourist attraction located in Oregon, USA. It's called the Duckbill Rock Formation. It was a sandstone hoodoo rock formation at Cape Kiwanda State Natural Area. Nature really did a great job creating this sandstone shaped just like a duck bill. This iconic structure was so popular that the Oregon State Parks decided to put up barricades so that it would not be accidentally toppled. In 2016, the administrators found it destroyed and reflected on how delicate it was until a video came out with some teenagers literally destroying the iconic sandstone. Just imagine how the wind transformed a lump of rock over thousands of years, creating a duckbill shape demolished within seconds by teenage vandals. Unfortunately, they were never caught. Number 4 is one of the greatest enigmas of the archaeological world by UNESCO, 
They are Peru's Nazca lines that are 2,000 years old. They are a series of pictures engraved on the surface of a coastal plain around 225 miles south of Lima. It is known to be the finest collection of geoglyphs. To really appreciate its outstanding beauty, it should be viewed from up above. Tragically, this masterpiece was ruined twice by people. The first time was made by Greenpeace. They did a publicity stunt during UN climate change discussions being held in Lima. They played down a sign that said, Time for change. The future is renewable. Greenpeace. Aside from a hummingbird etching, their sign and footprints cause damage to the Nazca lines. They aren't the only ones that ruin it though. In 2008, a truck driver intentionally rode his tractor trailer and damaged three geoglyphs. Number 3 is known for its crystal clear waters, white sand, and lush high cliffs. Introducing the Maya Beach. It was the main location for the 2000 film The Beach, starring Leonardo DiCaprio. Since then, a huge number of tourists have visited the beach. This caused a breakdown of the beach's ecological system. It started getting 200 boats and 5,000 daily. The pollution from the boats, trash, and other contaminants from humans caused tragic damage to the coral around Maya Beach. It was temporarily closed for four months in June 2018, but all the damage was so severe that there wasn't enough time for it to fully recover from the increased activity. As such, in October, Thailand's Department of National Parks, Wildlife and Conservation reported that the closure would continue till the bay returns to its natural healthy state. From Thailand, let's head over to Cambodia. Number 2 is the Bong Kak Lake. The Bong Kak Lake was once a stunning lake in the lakeside area in the northern part of Phnom Penh. International tourists would usually visit the area and stay in guest houses where they drink, eat, lounge, and watch the sunset. Nowadays, it looks more like a puddle. The Cambodian government in 2007 gave development rights to Sukako Incorporated, which by the year 2010 loaded over 90% of the lake with sand to give room for buildings and other developments. It not only killed tourism in the area, but also created catastrophic consequences for the 4,000 families that relied on Bong Kak Lake for their everyday living. Number 1 is the Tree of Tenery. This was a solitary acacia tree that was once considered the most secluded tree in the world. It not only gave out oxygen, but also helped people by becoming a landmark on caravan routes through the Tenery region of the Sahara Desert in Northeast Niger. It is a true mystery how it survived on its own in the inhospitable environment. But in 1973, a reckless driver crashed into the most solitary tree in the world, snapping its trunk. Can you imagine that? Today, the remains of the dead tree can be found in the Niger National Museum and a metal sculpture where the tree once stood. Thanks for watching till the end. It really is a tragedy what happened to those tourist attractions. Since those damages had already been done, what do you think you can do to help our environment? Planting a tree? Reducing your carbon footprint? Let us know in the comments section below. Again, we are Ignite Crunch. Subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell now. We'll see you in the next one, Crunchers.